Hi everyone. My trail name is Splash. And if you're new to my channel, I am in the midst of a multi-year project uh, documenting my attempts at doing some long gas section hikes on the Continental Divide Trail and hopefully over the course of four or five years completing the entire trail. Uh, last year I hiked um, through a good portion of New Mexico. I completed 530 miles uh, and uh, this year my plan is to get back on the trail where I left off last year just north of Cuba, New Mexico and finish the state of New Mexico and walk on into Colorado as far as I'm able. If you did watch my channel last year, then you're already aware that I had some serious knee issues while I was on the trail. A lot of pain and instability. And today, <laughs> I am uh, six weeks post-op from having a total knee replacement. And... Uh, just kind of wanted to check in with you guys and let you know where I'm at. Uh, so, uh, I'm not a medical professional. So, please don't take this as any kind of medical advice. But this is just my experience with total knee replacement surgery and the rehabilitation for it. And obviously my goal is to get back to an active life. Most importantly, to get back on the Continental Divide Trail. Once I grab a hold of a goal, I'm like a bulldog. I'll never let go. So, it's a glorious day, and I am so, so, so happy to be outside. Oh my golly. <laughs> It's a beautiful morning, but um, it's like two degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit, which is quite chilly. And uh, the wind has finally died down, but um, I don't know if you can tell here, the um, field next to us here, this uh, we, uh, hay field, the snow blew in beautiful little snow nados all day yesterday and left these drifts in my driveway and I can't get out. I uh, have to go get my pre-op blood work done and uh, thankfully we live on this farm and there's a road over here that goes out via another driveway that doesn't appear to be drifted shut so wish me luck. I'm at the hospital, walking in. I'm just going to check in for my total knee replacement. Five o'clock in the morning. Here, I guess I need to call the nurse. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so the nurse just marked my legs for, for before surgery. This one is this yes, one this one is no. <laughs> I have my IV in. And uh, now I'm just waiting for the OR team to come and take me to surgery. I'm 
excited and hopeful and extremely nervous. Oh, and I really want a cup of coffee. I'm back in my room. Surgery was a smashing success and I'm having a cup of coffee. <laughs> So my experience with total knee replacement surgery, uh, well, obviously first I had anesthesia. Uh, I had a spinal along with a nerve block and a general anesthetic also. Uh, then a tourniquet was applied to my thigh, which left a hellacious bruise. And then the lower leg was drained um, of blood. My surgical notes say exsanguinated and I love that word. So then uh, an incision was made midline on the front of my knee. Ligaments were cut. Uh, my PCL was completely removed and rebuilt. And the quadriceps tendon was also cut. The bone ends of the femur and tibia were cut and metal implants were cemented in place. The meniscus was also removed and plastic spacers were inserted. They tested the range of motion in the operating room and closed the incision with 21 staples. Today is my two week follow up with the orthopedic surgeon after my total knee replacement surgery. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Uh, I'm still having troubles with flexion of my knee and I'm not at 90 degrees yet. And there's still quite a bit of pain. So uh, hopefully once I get these gosh darn staples out, I will have a little bit better movement. I don't know, but uh, we'll see where we're at. At three and a half weeks, the flexion of my knee was less than 90 degrees. And it became apparent that drastic measures needed to be taken to increase the flexion. There's just a limited amount of time that you have to gain flexion before the scar tissue locks everything up. In just Two and a half weeks, I have gone from 90 degrees to 125 degrees. I'm on the right track.
hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions.